What up, what up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Fitness with Frost, we're gonna be going over the Garmin apps. There are two apps we're gonna be going over today, but I do a lot of Garmin reviews. So this is gonna be a deep dive into the Garmin app ecosystem. Let's go ahead, get right into it. So getting into the first app, it is the Garmin Connect app. It has everything built into this little down box on the side. Then also you have a day planner right here at the center as well. But when you click on that downward thing, you can get to all your activities. They have a lot of things built right in, running, cycling, if you want to just break it down, multi-sport, all that. Or you can go to all activities, see how everything went from there. Stuff like that, and of course on those activities, you can see where your intensity minutes were, where your floors were. Again, it, it does actually count on the band you have and what it will actually track some don't track your floors some don't track your intensity minutes it really all counts on which one you have and you can also get into your health stats you can get into your sleep I haven't done anything in the last seven days and I'm actually a little disappointed you can't go back farther but it will be able to check that you can track your weight calories calories in calories out it checks right in with the my fitness pal so that's always great and other things on the health stats, your pulse ox, your respiration, heart rate. Again, all these things, you can go back one year, how all that went, you'll be able to track that throughout. And it's, it's great, it has everything just built right in, how your stress levels are, you'll be able to track that type of stuff. And your performance stats, like your VO2 max. Again, haven't done anything in a little while, so I gotta go back about 12 weeks to see where my VO2 max was. But then it has that, your training effects, that, that, I'm not exactly sure what that means, but then your pulse ox as well. Those only go about four weeks back. Then your training, this is where a lot of things, a lot of big things are built in. You can get your workouts in, you can create your own workouts, you can find a workouts, which is huge. A lot of this won't work with certain bands, it needs certain sensors, but it has everything built right in. You can even go ahead and search through workouts. So if you wanted a running workout, Plyometric Runner, Yoga for Runners, built right there. So it is great built right in. And with training, you have training plans as well. So this is all big things built right in. Training plan for running, cycling, you can click on that. There's some Garmin coaches in. This is all built in for free with your band. With Fitbit, there's a premium for stuff like this. This is all built in for free. Other things for training, you can get into courses. You can actually create your own course, but you can also have some courses around your area as well. So if you go into your map, you'll see what courses, look at all these courses just built in with the community itself. So if you want a course that somebody else built in, you can go ahead and do that. So that is an awesome way to get friends and stuff like that without really knowing them. And you have uh, pro pacing strategies, so you'd have to go into that, be able to give you a customized little bit of training. Again, all free, this is huge. And even segments as well, this is gonna help you uh, break down uh, your races and stuff like that. Your gear, of course, that's what your gear is. If you wanna add in shoes, bikes, or anything like that built in, or extra heart rate monitors, you could do that. And your health insights. So this gives you a little bit more of an idea of how you compare to male or females on certain ages, and give you a kind of a range from there where your percentages are. Not really the biggest thing in the world, but that's great. Connections, you can invite friends, you can go into Facebook and all that, so that's big as well. You get into your groups and actually just search groups. Let's just put running. <laughs> There are a lot of running groups, so if they are public, you'll be able to join them there, um, but you'll be able to jump into a lot of groups. And contacts, of course, if you wanna invite your friends and they have contact information, there is gonna be all right there. Safety and tracking, so you have some safety features built in. It's really more accident uh, detection and stuff like that. That's only with a couple different bands. And also live track. With a couple of bands, you'll be actual live track your run. So if you're going on a marathon and you want other people to be able to watch you, you'll be able to actually let them know how far you are in your run, especially for those longer ones. And Garmin Golf. So uh, I'm not really gonna go into this as I don't think many of my viewers are really avid golfers, but if you are, this is something built in that's just a bonus on top. Then you have the Garmin IQ store. We'll get into that in a second. That's the secondary app I was talking about. 
Garmin Pay, NFC payment built in. You have your devices right here. These are the ones that I've actually done on my channel. And then all the way at the bottom, you have your settings. So privacy, notifications, what you want to be notified with. This is all built right in, all the information all right there. So when I go back to home, then you have other things like challenges. If you want to add some extra challenges to your fitness, there's a lot of stuff built in this app, believe me. And then you have your friends challenges as well built in. See how your calendar is so you won't really see anything on my calendar. These are when I did my reviews back here. So you check how your calendar was. News feed. So if you did join into a couple of different groups and stuff like this, this is where the news feed would be if anybody posts there. And then your notifications. If anything else that is new with the Fitbit Bit app, it'll build right into here. So we're talking about that other app. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So this is the Garmin IQ store. This is a way to actually add in other watch faces to certain watches and stuff like that. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, and then you even have some apps here and there so it's really not that big of a deal like if you are looking to add in there's so many things you can tell so many things just scrolling on down that's the store and then you could face it and actually take a picture and put it onto your watch face as well and of course searching different watch faces or apps this might be a little bit easier you got your navigation and stuff like that there is a boatload of things in there and then you have some other widgets you have skin temperature that you can just built in so you can see that, you know, that it's too much to really go into. And then data fields as well. So the Stravia um, effort, so that's a very popular app that it does connect to with running, stuff like that, jump ropes, all just built in right in the app. And of course your device on the right, my venue's not connected right now, but then you can see where all your watch faces and you'll be able to actually put it all together right there. What are my overall thoughts of the Garmin app ecosystem? It's awesome. They have so many things built in, especially all the trainings and all the extra metrics you'll be able to put in weight and stuff like that. It's all built in and it's all for free because you already bought your actual band itself. And it's got a lot of community stuff built in. You can join in with other friends, especially in your area. You guys saw that map. This is a really good app and really in depth, even though it takes a little bit to kind of get used to. It's a great app, one of the best ones out there and having one of those Garmin bands or watches, you'll definitely be able to take full advantage of it if you want. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification icon to let you know when my newest tech reviews are coming out. I got a new one each and every week. Enter my videos. If you see any links down below, that will shoot right to Amazon. Use that for any of your purchases. A little bit of your purchase will help me grow my channel. But as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay positive. I'll see you guys the next one.